Ďakujem veľmi pekne. Thank you very much. I will try to briefly select some of the key elements in Slovak uh, conservation in the activities of our Heritage Institute. I do not want to um, keep you too long. And I would also like to pick up on the previous speakers. This year marks the 20th anniversary of the establishment of the uh, Heritage Institute of the Slovak Republic. It was transformed from a scientific institution, the Institute of Monuments. Uh, this leads to uh, natural questions, which are also interesting for Czech conservationists. If this single track uh, heritage institution was uh, more successful, more appropriate, and more efficient than the two track uh, system which is used in the Czech Republic, where the competences of expert opinions are then uh, used by officials in administrative proceedings and vice versa. And we have one unified office that covers both. I remember the work in the older model and uh, legislative regulation of conservation is certainly not uh, the only determining framework, however perfect it may be. On this picture, you can see the image of um, a mill in Bratislava, which is currently the seat of our office, the Heritage National Heritage Office. It's a technical heritage site. Another of our heritage sites, I also would like to say that we want to have our own brewery. This is Červený Kláštor, a monastery brewery, and one of our projects. Perhaps uh, uh, in future we could uh, operate it, make use of it. If we were to uh, reflect upon uh, what defines the correctness or success of legislation, I think the mirror is the state of uh, the heritage stock and the level of conservation. At the uh, Heritage Office, we managed to cover the different amendments, also with the support of the Ministry of Culture. We were able to fine-tune the application practice, the implementation, and the overall framework of heritage uh, legislation is quite modern thanks to the interlinking of several legislative acts. So there has definitely been some progress here. If we were to look at uh, the heritage uh, stock, uh, there have not been significant improvements. Some heritage sites are being repaired and others deteriorate. If you look at figures, uh, 25 to 30 percent are derelict buildings, very much deteriorated uh, given the low budgets of the Ministry of Culture as well as uh, the absence of other grant systems at regional level. And uh, unfortunately, uh, the heritage uh, restorations are often of low quality. Uh, we have calculated what we call heritage debt. It's a figure that uh, is rising constantly. And this is more or less the amount of money that we would need to um, restore our heritage stock appropriately. Uh, this debt uh, will always be there, obviously, because uh, we are losing the original 
material substance of the of the heritage sites, so this, this cultural uh, legacy. I would uh, pick up on what Mr. Kerchumash talked about. Um, heritage renovation is based on a, a sort of triangle. I have uh, this circular model here. The heritage site is in the center, and you have to start with the owner who has a certain intention. He talks to the regional monument board or office. Uh, he talks to the supervising uh, conservationist. Uh, then you have to prepare all the documentation, research, surveys. Uh, and this entire process ends up with the construction company, the craftsmen, the restorers. The problem of this is that any one of these important elements may drop out or fail, or there is um, a lack of experience in heritage care, and then the entire circle will collapse. So in my opinion, it's uh, very important not to work only on the legislative setting of the processes, but also to try to systematically improve all the elements of this chain. If I were to talk about uh, the condition of our heritage office, I would say we have quite a good network of centers, good database of uh, heritage sites. We uh, update uh, the different components from immovable heritage to movable heritage, we are finishing that. We have uh, covered the territory, uh, also the territorial delimitation and uh, uh, principles, guiding principles for uh, conservation. This is the basic document for us. Most uh, of our professional staff have sufficient uh, expertise and we have a decent network of international cooperation and contacts. What are the weaknesses of the Monument Board Heritage Office? There is often too much red tape. Our office uh, produces constantly a lot of uh, paperwork, like activities. So the staff that uh, remember the period 20 years ago uh, research projects or were involved in investing into heritage uh, renovation. These are being replaced by graduates who arrive at our office and uh, are turned into bureaucrats and uh, have uh, less time for um, surveying heritage sites or being present during conservation work. So there is a, a certain generational exchange. And in the absence of an internal educational system, the overall competence is going down, although we are on the same level uh, with architects and restorers as regards the competencies. As regards the methodologies that we envy, uh, our Czech colleagues who are envious of them, they have uh, principles for protecting the heritage stock and uh, the proposals uh, for heritage protection is based on very well documented research. This also includes uh, special commissions, uh, work inspections, uh, so this system works rather well. Uh, however, we feel a lack of methodological material. At the Heritage Office, we mm, deliver large projects uh, also, such as PAMIS, which is supposed to uh, deepen the digitization of our databases and electronification. Also, one of our weaknesses is the lack of ability to deal with complicated cases and communicate with the public. These are four key uh, fields where I could imagine uh, a change for the better. First is uh, the efficiency of our performance. 
if with the same number of staff members we want ourselves to make more competent and efficient, we would need to reduce some red tape using digital tools, or perhaps uh, shifting some of our responsibilities to construction offices, that is, things that would uh, not concern conservation and protection of heritage sites as such. All this would require uh, modification in the organizational structure. We would like to make uh, our staff uh, more available for the truly expert activities rather than administrative. We implement several large projects at our office apart from PAMIS and a large digitization projects for documenting uh, geodetical documentation and scanning of heritage sites. We had Pro Monumenta 1 and 2, Červený Kláštor, Reborn, Monastery Reborn, as well as a Recovery and Resilience Plan. And the implementation of these projects is quite tiresome. Uh, our staff are quite uh, overloaded, but uh, if uh, rightly coordinated, the results of these projects uh, have the potential to improve the efficiency of our office. We would need sufficient human resources for that. That's point C. So uh, people with expertise that would work for us. And the fourth area is improving PR towards the public. Uh, the topic of heritage sites is not um, so much a public topic as opposed to environmental topics, for instance. And uh, the heritage office could become an advocate in this field and could perhaps uh, disseminate this information and share it with the public. So some systematic communication, making use of large public media and uh, working with institutions that uh, take care of collections. We would like to become the leader in protecting heritage sites. And also then we might be more able to get funding based on social demand. And also perhaps enough funding for staff. As regards the challenges that we face, similar as uh, in other countries, uh, similar as uh, in the presentations of other speakers. Uh, heritage uh, has uh, some economic potential in society as well. And uh, at times of savings, it could be a good argument to defend our importance for society. If you look at Slovakia, we have 200 or 250 uh, castles uh, and uh, country houses uh, in a, a derelict condition. This is uh, an example of uh, a building that used to be owned by a um, significant uh, noble family and uh, it got much deteriorated. It used to be the seat of a very important historical library in uh, the Hungarian Empire. But for economic reasons, the library ended up uh, at the family seat. The uh, books for some time had to be uh, placed in the National Library. Really, in the last moment, we managed to save this building. Uh, a new roof was provided. And what is important, the library came back to this country house and is uh, one of the uh, attractions uh, for visitors. Uh, there is a ruin of a castle nearby that is undergoing renovation. So it's an example. Uh, that illustrates that from a location with unemployment, economic um, depression, you can still develop uh, such projects. In uh, 
uh, not so attractive regions such as Special Gemera. Uh, uh, these regions can then be turned into uh, places that offer accommodation, uh, hospitality services, restaurants and culture, and it supports the growth of the local economy as a result of restoration of this heritage site. As regards uh, what we uh, should do in future is based uh, on uh, this, uh, these funding challenges. We would like to focus on developing human potential using our expertise in implementing large development projects, overlapping uh, into other areas. Uh, we want to improve the relationship of the public to cultural heritage. I believe this is key in Slovakia. Uh, the topics uh, in Slovakia include paradigm shift in relation to environmental protection, climate change, social dimension, development of the society and the economy, involvement of local governments, NGOs, or civil society. I would like to present two successful Slovak projects now. Uh, <coughs> I was there at the origins and uh, during the implementation of these projects, uh, one of them presented the following challenge, how we would be able to work with these runes. We have roughly 100 uh, ruined castles that are uh, national heritage sites. Also, we have archaeological sites or um, extinguished castles too. Uh, this was quite difficult at the beginning because this is often not even uh, recorded at the land register office. Uh, uh, some of these castles are owned uh, by the local administrations, others by the church. A large number is owned by the forest, uh, Slovak forest company, who are interested only in the economic activities and not in conservation of castle ruins. Some of these castles in the 1970s and 80s, uh, they were subject to socialist renovation projects, similarly as in the Czech Republic. Uh, also to speak on a more positive note, since the 1990s, roughly 30 um, non-profit organizations got established in Slovakia. They joined forces under the umbrella of a civic association called Save the Castles, and they started to work on conservation of castle rooms. And thanks to exchange of information, collaboration with uh, heritage office staff, uh, structural engineers and technologists, the quality of their work uh, increased gradually, and they became true professionals in this area. What was the key issue? Their capacity. These civic associations worked mainly on weekends and during summer holidays, so obviously their performance had its limits. In 2011, there was a unique project with the involvement of the Ministry of Labor Affairs and the Family and the Ministry of Culture, the Ministry of Labor offered uh, possibilities for reskilling with the support of the European Social Fund, which was available for these purposes, and the Ministry of Culture, that we had to fine tune the possibility to pay a coordinator for these works. Usually it was the, uh, the coordinator of the civic association. And the Ministry of Culture provided funding for uh, professionals, archaeologists, uh, restoration professionals, structural engineers, etc., and obviously the material to be used. And uh, in this joint project in 2011, two castles, uh, Uhrovec and Sharish, were renovated. Here you can see the uh, leaflet and the walls that they worked on. This project uh, took some 10 years, and starting in 2012, the number of castles and other heritage sites, but predominantly castles, uh, rose to 40. 
and the number of unemployed people who were involved in the program on a yearly basis reached uh, uh, 600, 700 in the last uh, couple of years. We managed to maintain the quality that was set originally by the civic associations, and this manner of uh, conservation was more sensitive and uh, cheaper than if we had used the structural funds, for instance. You know that if the structural funds are not set correctly, they can actually be dangerous for heritage uh, renovation because over a short period of time you have to tender out uh, uh, a building company that perhaps is not experienced in heritage uh, conservation and then they share the workload with subcontractors, uh, public procurement uh, uh, gets involved and then you have uh, uh, not, not a sufficient time for the uh, conservation project itself and all is uh, uh, under a very strict schedule, so you might not have sufficient time as a result of this either. So this project always focused on archaeological excavations in a determined area, and uh, the next year uh, the same area was uh, subject to conservation. If there were any findings, the plan of works uh, were adapted to this new situation. This is how castles were built uh, originally with a lot of uh, manual work. And there is still a lot of need for manual work nowadays. Uh, we work uh, on the most uh, endangered uh, structures. We fill the caverns in the walls, for instance, and we are able to uh, prolong the life of these structures by decades. This project also made use of other traditional craft techniques, uh, carpentry work. We experimented with different composition of uh, lime, uh, mortar, in order to get uh, the best possible result. Uh, due to climate change, we are struggling with this recently because the freezing cycles are changing uh, from autumn to spring because these are often northern uh, locations at uh, higher altitudes where the conditions are perhaps uh, uh, more difficult than in urban areas. We also worked with the crown of the walls, uh, the different mortars, the different uh, vegetation covering and uh, the substrate to be used to protect uh, the walls. Here are some figures the budgets for these uh, conservation projects. The figures are roughly half of, uh, uh, in case of projects so supported from the structural funds, but they uh, take longer, several time, uh, several years longer. A second project I would like to talk about with overlaps into other areas than uh, the traditional one-off uh, renovation, the absence of maintenance uh, in heritage sites. In uh, several post-communist countries, this is a significant issue. This is a project of preventive maintenance. Uh, it's uh, inspired by Monument and Wacht. I got uh, acquainted with it during my studies. I always wanted to bring something like that to Slovakia. Uh, and uh, when asked, uh, when I asked our Dutch colleagues how we should uh, begin, they said, in every country it can be completely different. And the important is the idea of systematic maintenance of heritage sites. So as opposed to the Netherlands, in Slovakia we do not employ a secondary school graduates or students, but uh, university graduates who have a feeling for crafts. The result of their work is uh, documentation, diagnostics of the heritage sites, all their components, uh, photographs, as well as an overview of the research publications, specifying all the defects of the 
heritage site so that the owners are aware of them. And also there is a specification of which works can be carried out by the owner and for which works they have to invite a professional. Also, there is an overview of the repair works at the um, places that are difficult to access. We uh, offer courses uh, for working at heights. We started using drones as well. Drones are useful in that it can quickly uh, illustrate the condition of the roof without having to uh, prepare uh, such safe access using a rope. You can spend many hours on that. But if you use a drone, uh, it is much quicker to see what the condition of the roof is. Often uh, the debate is what is preventive maintenance and what is not, and how much time we should spend on every uh, heritage site. The original doc, uh, project of Monument Wacht uh, is complemented by events that we organize together. This is uh, um, cleaning of the Rhine uh, during this project. You clean the gutters and downspouts in historic centers uh, in Levoča, Kežimorák, uh, Skalica, Banská Šťavnica, and. Uh, uh, our uh, staff members uh, with vehicles and all the technology, all the hoists uh, uh, um, uh, together clean all these uh, gutters and downspouts and also promote uh, maintenance of heritage sites. We distribute leaflets and talk to the local uh, media. <coughs> I believe that the events are quite successful. This year, we uh, implemented renovations of three buildings administered by the Heritage Office. Uh, partly, we used uh, project funding, and also we invested our own work to renovate these three buildings. There is now sufficient space for working inside and outside. We uh, organize uh, workshops uh, focusing on crafts for uh, heritage owners and for crafts people who would like to learn more about their profession and about the specific uh, restoration works focusing on heritage. Geographically, we have covered the entire territory of Slovakia, Trnava, Banská Šťavnica and Levoča. So we uh, efficiently cover uh, the entire territory, 100 uh, heritage sites per year. Uh, that's what we delivered. And after the project was over and we had no more funding, we made use of the recovery and resilience plan for Slovakia. This also includes heritage sites. It has two parts. One of them is uh, documentation of uh, heritage sites owned by the state, where you look at the construction and technical condition of these heritage sites. Uh, we are trying to look at the metric parameters. We use uh, geodetic works to determine uh, the um, area dimensions of the heritage sites to also be able to tell what the financial requirements will be in future. We are also surveying the condition and uh, any potential for uh, enhancing energy efficiency. This includes perhaps uh, uh, modernization of the heating systems, uh, etc. Also, there are methodologies, I mentioned that, but that's a separate topic. So this is uh, we will manage to put together our own organization that will employ a former uh, staff of this project, Pro Monumenta, as well as digitization 
uh, professionals who work at the heritage office, chemical technological laboratory staff. So we would put all these people together in our own organization. I could also include restoration professionals because by decision of the Constitutional Court of 2017, which came into force in 2019, it was uh, uh, forbidden. Uh, works on projects that had been contracted before this date still continue, but then we have a problem with state restoration projects in Slovakia based on this. It is necessary to uh, focus on uh, uh, state heritage, uh, collection, objects, etc. So perhaps a new organization would be suitable to put together all these components of the Heritage Office. By way of conclusion and responding to how heritage protection should uh, uh, take into account the new challenges, it should uh, mm, uh, move uh, further away from um, the traditional activities to more innovative projects. It uh, should uh, attract the entire society, uh, uh, justify its rationale and provide a creative uh, potential. As regards the, the vision, I would like to paraphrase uh, the definition of authenticity by Paul Philippot and Yuka Jokilecht. Uh, the duty of intervention in relation to authenticity is to maximize the degree of truthfulness of the internal ethical stance in relation to the values, physical realization, quality and extent of the newly added parts, as well as the environmental, cultural and social context and sustainability of the solution used.